A picture is worth a thousand words. That's why taking screenshots is one of those really useful things that you will need to know how to do. In this video, we will take a look at some tips and tricks for grabbing screenshots from your Linux machines. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so we can let the good times roll. The easy way to do a screen capture is to hit the print screen button, which is usually located on the top row of most keyboards and close to the F12 function key. On this Dell keyboard, it's on the top row over the numeric keys. On this HP keyboard and this other keyboard, it's on the top right row next to the F12 function key. Once this key is hit, a save screenshot panel will pop up asking you about the name of the PNG file that you want to save as and the location to write that file. The default is usually the word screenshot followed by the date and timestamp. So I'm go ahead and save that. And to verify, we can double click on the screenshot file and we see that it is in fact a screenshot of the whole desktop. Now that's great for the screenshot of the whole desktop, but if you're interested in only one window or a portion of the desktop, then you can hold down the shift key before pressing the print screen button. And this will invoke the take screenshot program, which will allow you to select between grabbing the whole desktop, the selected window, or an area to grab. Additionally, there are options for whether you want to include the mouse pointer, uh, add a window border, and any effects you want to apply to the final output. So I'm going to start with grabbing the whole desktop and then saving to the desktop as test1.png. We can double click on test1.png to see that it is in fact a screen capture of the whole desktop. Now I'm going to select the current window option with the border effect. And if we look at the resulting file of test2.png, we see that it was the browser window that was grabbed and it has the border effect applied that we asked for. Lastly, I'm going to select the area to grab option. And when the cursor pops up, I'm going to drag select this area of the screen and then name the results test3.png. And when we look at test3.png, we see that the graphic is just the area that we had selected earlier. This all seems so easy until you realize that you're running Linux on Mac hardware and then you suddenly realize that there is no print screen key on a Mac keyboard. Hey, no need to panic. There are a few software solutions for this hardware problem. If you're running Linux within a VirtualBox VM, you first select the VM of interest, then access the menu for view, and then take screenshot, and then you can get a screenshot. If you're running Linux within a VMware VM, it's a similar process that you need to first select the VM of interest, then in the menu you select VM capture screen. The resulting PNG files will be on your host machines. If you're running Kane in a VM with Mac OS as the host OS, I was able to actually hit Control P to obtain a screenshot of the desktop. Uh, this did not work in Parrot OS nor Kali, so it must be a Kane specific mapping of some sort. And the resulting PNG file in this case will be on your guest machine. Unfortunately, I was not able to figure out how to get a screenshot of a section or a window, just the entire desktop. If you're running Linux within a VM with Mac OS as the host OS, you can use the native Mac OS screen capture commands of Command Shift 3 to get a desktop capture or Command Shift 4 to capture within a selected area. The resulting capture file will be on the host machine. What if you're running Linux natively instead of in a VM and your machine doesn't have a print screen key? Of course, I'm here to tell you that there is a command line solution. Brought to you by ImageMagick, the software for the creation, modification, and display of bitmap images. ImageMagick is part of Kane, Parrot OS, and Kali. And if you don't have it on your system, you can download it at https colon slash slash imagemagick.org. And we're only going to be using a tiny part of the software to do the screen captures. The simplest thing to do is just type import followed by the path name of the resulting file. So if I type import test1.png, right? so test1.png is going to be the name of the resulting file. Once I hit enter, you're going to be presented with a new cursor, this thing right here, that allows you to drag out the area of the screen you want to grab. 
So I'm going to just select this area here. And then when it's done, we can take a look at test1.png. And sure enough, it only grabbed the area that we had selected. Now we can also select to grab a window. So let's go ahead and do that again. Import test2.png. And when the cursor pops up, we can just click on the window that we're interested in without dragging out the cursor. So we can take a look at the results of test2.png. And we notice that the obscured portions of the window is not captured. The capture is of the unobstructed window as a whole. Another way of running import is if you want to capture the entire desktop. For this, all you need to do is just add the dash window option with the word root. So I'm going to type import dash window root test3.png. And then we can double click on test3.png. And we can see that it is the entire desktop that it captured. And lastly, to capture a specific window without using actually clicking, well, what we'll need is the window ID to specify instead of root. And the way we get the window ID is with the xwininfo command. So let's go ahead and type xwininfo. So when we run xwininfo, we will get a cursor that pops up. And so what we can do is use that cursor to click in the window that we are interested in. So in this case, I'm going to click in the browser window. And what you see here is a ton of stuff, including the window ID that we're interested in, the name of the window, the location of the window, the size of the window, etc. But for this exercise, we really just need the window ID. So to clean it up, we can actually just rerun xwin info and then pipe the output to grep, double quote, window, space, ID, and double quote. And now we see here, this is the window ID. So let's go ahead and run import again with the dash window option. And instead of root, we're actually going to copy and paste in the window ID that we just got from xwininfo. And let's save that to test4.png. And now let's double click on test4.png. And sure enough, we can see that it is the browser window that we had selected. All right, so to do a quick recap, when you're using PC hardware, you can use the print screen key to get a screenshot or use the shift print screen key to choose between getting a screenshot, a window capture, or capture a selected area. If you're using Mac hardware and running Linux in a virtual machine, you can use Mac OS's command shift three to capture the desktop or command shift four to select an area to capture. And if you're using Mac hardware and running Linux natively, you can use the import tool along with xwin info to capture the desktop, the selected window, or capture a selected area. For more videos on Linux tips and tricks, make sure you watch these videos here. Or if you want to roll the dice on what to watch next, click here. Make sure that you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.